So now we'll look at these two methods, is, assert methods that are is okay and is not okay. These can be used to check the truthy and falsy values. Truthy values are a type of value, I guess, in JavaScript, which are considered like, I guess, true or meaningful, I guess, or something that we want. And this is most M values in JavaScript that are not falsy. So falsy values are kind of values that don't have any meaning or are considered negative. So an example of this is literally um, the Boolean false because it's kind of the negative of the um, Booleans, I guess. The number zero is considered falsy because um, it's it's a number that doesn't mean anything. So it's, it's usually if it's either negative or it doesn't mean anything. Um, this doesn't count for negative numbers, by the way, because they still have value or meaning. Um, but negative zero is treated the same as zero, so that's considered falsy. The zero n is for um, big int, but um, we'll rarely come across it, so I wouldn't worry about it. Um, an empty string value is considered falsy because it doesn't really have any meaning. Um, so that's, I guess that's falsy. Um, null is falsy because it, if it's something doesn't exist, it doesn't have any meaning. Um, undefined is falsy because undefined literally means it doesn't it, um, point to anything meaningful. And when we're checking and looking at numbers, if we get not a number, this is not something we want. So it's kind of a negative experience, negative um, output, I guess. So that's considered falsy as well. And a clear use of falsy is when we do um, an if statement with an exclamation mark, um, that checks if the value is falsy. So it checks if it's null or undefined or empty string or something like that. So the two methods are, um, there are certain methods again. So you'll say try.assert here. And the, it's, the first one is okay, checks if a variable or a value that we give it is false, is truthy. So if I give it this variable here, and one and the error message if is okay fails, should be something like the value is not truthy, or the value is falsy, I guess. But I think it's best to make sure the error messages directly contradict the test rather than point out their opposite. So right now this variable is undefined. So if I run this test now, we can see that it fails. Now if I set this variable to an empty string and I run the test again, we can see it still fails. Um, if I set this to uh, false, which is also a falsy value, and I run this test again, we can see it still fails. Um, if I set it to, I guess, zero, and I run this test again, we can see it still fails. So for any of these falsy values, if this um, value that we give it is falsy, this test will fail. So it has to be a truthy value, which is any value that's not falsy. And the way we can do that is just to give, I don't know, like a number or something, something that's meaningful and I guess not negative in certain context. So if I run that now, we can see that the script finishes with no error messages. Now the other method is is not okay, and this tests if a um, an object or or a variable or a value that you give it is falsy. So we can say something like the value is not falsy if it fails. Again, it kind of means it's truthy, but we want to make sure we directly contradict the test rather than assume that it's the opposite. So if I run this with this variable one that means something, we can see it becomes false. If I give it a string like hello, uh, and I run the test again, this this is kind of meaningful data, so it once again is false. Um, if I give it the variable true, which is literally like, a, I guess a positive variable, um, you can see that it fails again, because it's, 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 it is okay, which is not okay. Um, which is not not okay. This is getting quite confusing, actually. Um, the way we can make this work, or we, the way we can make something, make sure something is not okay, is to make it falsy. So if I give it um, something that's undefined, we can see that it passes the test. If I set this to an empty string, we'll see that it passes the test. If I set this to the Boolean false, which I guess is the negative of the Booleans, we can see that it fails. If I set this to um, zero, which I guess isn't a meaningful number, um, it fails. I don't know how they define these truthy and falsy values, but they kind of make sense in my head. Um, so let's 
Look at the challenge now, and again it's in the unit tests, and assert has been assigned to this assert here. And remember that our goal in all of these is to make these tests pass. So if we give null to a test method, remember that null is a falsy value. So if we want to make this test pass, we want to give it, if we give it to is okay, is okay checks if it's a truthy value, so that'll fail. But if we give it to is not okay, um, null will pass because null is a falsy value, therefore it's not okay, so this test will pass. The next um, one is a string, and it's a string that has, it's not an empty string, so it's meaningful and it has some data in it. And um, this is considered truthy because it has that data. So if we give it to is okay, this will pass. And um, finally, we have this variable true here. And remember that true is truthy, or I guess it's the positive version of the two booleans. So if we give this to is okay, because truth, it, because true is truthy, um, is okay will pass with that. So if we save that now and um, copy the live app link and submit it here, we can see that the test passes.